Hello, hello, hello. I hope you are having a wonderful time and here I am with another video. Like always, the purpose of my video it is just to give you an idea. What you see on the screen, that seat belongs to the Porsche and the backrest, it is not lacking. Every time the customer goes through a bump or to a hole, the backrest shake and move. Why? Because something is wrong with the cable. If you have a seat like this or a manual seat that it doesn't, the backrest doesn't move forward or you have been working on a customer seat and after you install all the new upholstery, the seat doesn't lock, well, maybe the problem uh, will be the same as this and I will show you how you can fix it. This is the seat. As you can see, the backrest doesn't lock. The handle that I am touching is to reposition the backrest. That doesn't have nothing to do with the problem. The problem is right there. See that? It moves. It doesn't lock. When the customer goes through a bump or to a hole, that backrest shake and make some noise. He said two years ago, around two years ago, he replaced those cables. Or he said those cables are new. Maybe the person who put it uh, didn't connect it right. And we're going to find out on this video what is wrong if we can fix it we will fix it and other way the customer might buy a new cable i will take it to the table and first thing that you will do is remove uh, one bolt on this side uh, to disassemble the uh, the seat and just be careful if you never done something like this please uh, take some photo uh, believe me uh, when you are putting everything back you never know my buy you uh, not going to remember how to put it back that's what those four or video will be uh, so important you can see those hood this is where I push it and it stay there when I push it, it should come back by itself okay there is a plastic there is a small spring just pay attention how it is in case if you have experience I'm going to remove uh, two fillet ball on each side Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. If if you are going to disconnect those recliner, make sure to put a mark on it how they are before you disconnect it because both are connected with a bar. And see there is a plastic, I remove that plastic, and I'm going to put a mark. That way when I put it back, I have to make sure those mark match each other. Okay, and same thing on this side. See, I just remove it and I put it back and I put a mark. It is necessary those mark. Uh, to be honest, I have almost four decades working on this trade, so for me it is not necessary. But I do it for those who are learning this trade. That way they can remember easily. And then you're going to, uh, you have to remove the backrest cover. And the backrest cover on this uh, seat, it is with the staple. And so, some seat and some backrest, they come with hand ring. So remove all those staples in there. Be careful because you are going to use the same cover. You are not making the cover new. No, you are just going to work on the uh, cable. I got the backrest, then I'm going to remove all the other staple. I didn't show you that. So you might ask, Skin, why you don't, you don't disconnect that, those uh, recliner? You're going to need a cut plier, then you're going to need a flat screwdriver or, hand, uh, or staple puller to uh, remove all those hungry. Uh You might ask why I didn't remove those recliner. Well, because it comes with a special rivet. And the rivets that I have are not that appropriate for that, for put it back. So that's why I don't remove it. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to uh, remove this cover without uh, disconnecting those recliner. Be careful with the cover. Don't scratch. You see, I put a, a phone or I put something on the table. It's for the same, protecting the cover. Then I'm going to uh, remove or uh, unglue this phone. And I can see that cable right there, it is loose. 
I can see it from here. And I bet you those who have a long time working on this trade, they already know what is going on with this backrest. So I'm just going to move this phone in there. And I'm going to put it back, this recliner, just to find out exactly if the cable is broken or we can fix it without buying a new cable. And same thing right here. Put everything back except the cover. So, those recliners are on. Something that I see, see right here, check the cable. If the cable is not broken, that will be part of the problem. The cable, those cables are not placing rights. If the cable are not broken, that might be the problem. I am pretty sure, just by seeing it. See this handle? I move it up and it stay up. It doesn't go back. Some handle have like a spring to make it go back, but this one, it doesn't have it. It is not necessary. The spring is on the bottom. That's what it doesn't have it on the top. You see right there? When I push it, that cable don't go in. It bend and it should go in. This is all loose and this is where I push it and it stay. Don't come back. This at least come back. See, I push it and it come back, but the cable fall right there. So I'm going to place this cable right. I'm going to put a handring right there. I'm not going to squish it all the way, just enough to hold the cable right there. That is not a cable. That is a black tube. The cable is inside that tube. Okay, move it, you see, it come back. Now you can see it. Now and before. See, it go in, come back. Perfect. I hold that black plastic with some staple. The cable is inside the plastic. When I pull the handle, if it, the black plastic move, automatically the cable that is under the plastic, it will move too. And I don't want you to move. I reposition it, those black plastic. The cable is inside. The cable is not broken. Everything is fine. If you had the same problem, maybe the solution will be the same. See? It go back. And you can see it. Pull it up. Go back. And before I wasn't doing this. Same thing. Now you will see it moving. I move the handle and check the circle, inside the circle. It move. Perfect. Before wasn't wasn't doing that. Mm-hmm. Going to put some grease, going to lubricate it, just to make sure it works. I use a heavy duty grease. And I put them on there. And I have to check it before assembling those pieces. I have to make sure because remember the cord will be on top of that cable. And I'm not sure if I create pressure on there, it will uh, in affect them. See, it moving, both are moving perfectly. So. I connect the backrest with the bottom cushion just to make sure. Okay, I want you to see it. That handle is just to reposition in the backrest and it lock. See, it moved. Before it was was doing that. That's not the problem. The problem, the problem it is the backrest. Sometimes the customer have a kit and they want the kit to go on the back seat and that's what it is that handle for. 
that handle it is for that one to move the backrest forward. I can feel it is tight and you see I pull the handle up, the recliner go forward, then I push the recliner back and it lock. Perfect. Apparently the solution was repositioning that those cables. That was the solution. The customer didn't need a new cable. Those cable, it wasn't broken. See, and I create pressure. I'm going to show you something right here. You see the hook? It is lacking on the bottom. The one side, then the other side, it is the same. Before, it wasn't like that. Is luck. Just reposition on those cable and hold it with hand ring. Now what I'm going to do is remove it, remove every uh, those pole, and start putting everything back. The pneumatic tool uh, for us who are working on this tray, uh, it is so important. I can remove those bolts with Phillips screwdriver. Um, with power tool, it is so faster and easier. So I put, uh, I put glue and I put that phone exactly like how it was, re-gluing it. going to put this uh, quarter of an inch phone with glue and I'm going to put the same plastic uh, it is so important to put plastic because otherwise it will be like kind of hard to put the cover back even the cover we are using the same cover but still this cover to put a moment it is not harder as a new one. Sometimes the new one because it's new one you have to stretch the material. It is kind of harder. And always I recommend to put plastic on it. And right there I am using a staple pulley. You can use a flat screwdriver if you don't have a staple pulley because there are like some um, spine and you have to put the material in there then you have to hit it with the hammer and then you're going to hold the core with the hand ring all around uh, if you don't have uh, a hand ring plier you can buy them on Amazon eBay even in there you can buy the hand ring and I'm putting back everything like how it was Okay, and then I will put the with the sta uh, with the staple. I always use a stainless steel staple. Always use stainless steel for furniture. A uh, uh, galvanized staple is perfect, but right here it has to be stainless steel. I am not doing nothing new in there. I am just doing the same way, same way it was. I forgot to put this plastic on it. I had to remove that recliner. Uh, see how like I saw my spring in there and when that recliner move, uh, my damage is that leather. This backrest, it is 100% out of leather. 
most of the ports are 100 percent leather i'm going to put this part exactly like what you remember i put a mark on it well i just have to follow those marks And when you're going to uh, connect the backrest with the bottom cushion, it might be a little bit hard. Just be patient. Put one side first, then concentrate them on the other side. And make sure everything is tight. And I'm going to put this. Uh, the customer gave me a new plastic because the old one was broken. And he gave me the click to hold that handle on place. So as you can see him on there. I'm just going to uh, put the steamer later on, but that will be the last. I'm going to take it to the floor, and I have to be 100% sure that uh, this is working uh, perfectly. See? Everything is connected. You can see the back. Nothing is damaged. This handle it doesn't have nothing to do with it. This is just to reposition the backrest. The problem was right there. You see? It locked. Before, it wasn't doing that now it does perfect now when the customer got through a bump or to a hole he won't hear the noise he won't hear the backrest is shaking because now it is working like the way it's supposed to be it is unbelievable how a small thing was uh, preventing the backrest to lock was the cable what did i do I just repositioned it. the plastic who was covering the cable. If I don't reposition that black plastic, uh, I just move it. Might be work, but later on, we'll be doing the same thing. Now the customer will be so happy because he don't have to buy a new cable. Uh, to fix it was simple. If you are going to the same problem, and uh, the solution might be the same. And not only for Porsche, for all those backrests who uh, doesn't lock and they are uh, attached with a cable manually. So um, you can do the same thing. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. If that was the case, don't forget to hit the like button, any comment, leave it in the comment section on this video. And for those who are new or first time watching this video, my name is Mario Ernesto and I am a posturer. I have almost four decades working on this trade and I still learning. Eh? So thank you and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon in another video.